Good morning children. We are back again with the new chapter. The name of the chapter is Scale and Distance. Map represents a portion of the earth's surface. It has several elements such as a title, north line, scale and key that helps us to read and understand it easily. Just for a short introduction, let us discuss all these elements of the map. Here in this map, you can see on your right hand side on the top, there is a box made in which it is written India. Under that you can see there are some keys given. International boundary, state or union territory boundary, national capital denoted by star, state or union territory capital denoted by a dot are given. These are the keys. These keys make our work easy. We can easily interpret the map with the help of these keys. Then second element that is of a scale. In the same map, in the same box you can see at the below there is a straight line made and some digits are written this is the scale so and third key is about the title title of the map is this is the map of India this is the title of the map usually in the maps on the left hand side of the map there is upward arrow which is showing the northern side to us that is known as north line. Here in this chapter we will talk about map scale in detail. What is a map scale? A scale is a ratio of distance between two places on a map to the actual distance between the same two places on the ground. There are three ways to represent map scales. One is verbal or statement scale. Second is graphic or linear scale. And third one is representative scale. Let us talk about verbal or statement scale first. The scale is stated in words. The units are usually mentioned in this type of scale. For example, 1 centimeter is equal to 5 kilometer or 1 centimeter to 5 kilometer. It means that 1 centimeter on the map is equal to 5 kilometer on the ground. These are just statements indicating what a particular distance on the map would represent on the ground. The second way to represent map scales is graphical or linear scale. This consists of a straight line which is divided into lengths that represent given distances on the earth's surface. It is usually drawn near the lower portion of the map. Here you can see there is a diagram of the linear scale. It is divided into four equal parts. One centimeter apart. Each of these parts represents a distance of 50 km on the ground. The user of the map has to place a straight edged paper or a piece of string beside the two points to be measured. Mark the two points on the paper or string and measure the distance between these two mark points using the scale given at the bottom of the map. In this way, the actual distance between the two points will be known. The third way to represent the map scale is representative fraction. This is a numerical scale that gives the ratio of the distance between two places on the map and the distance between the same places on the ground. For example, 1 is to 50,000. This means one unit on the map would be equal to 50,000 units of the same distance on the ground. The ratio is also given as a fraction such as 
1 upon 50,000 with the numerator representing 1 unit on the map and the denominator representing 50,000 units on the ground. Students, you can see the formula given here of representative fraction that is distance on map upon distance on ground and in this manner you can calculate the RF scale that is the representative fraction scale from the given figures. Let us take one example to calculate the representative fraction. Suppose the distance between two points on the map is 5 cm. The scale is given 1 is to 50,000. Then the distance between the two points on the ground will be 5 into 50,000 centimeters that is equal to 2 lakh 50,000 centimeter. So, you can say in the other word 2 and a half kilometer on the ground. So, here in this slide you can see that all the three scales which we have just discussed have been given in short. A statement of a scale is known as verbal scale. Then you can see the linear or bar scale that is also known as the graphical scale. Linear or graphical scale is a line scale with divisions. Third type of scale we have discussed that is the representative fraction. So, that is given in the form of ratio or the fraction. Students, to understand maps correctly, it is important to learn how to accurately measure distance on them. This can be done in different ways. We will discuss in two different ways over here. One way to measure the distance is to measure distances along a straight line. The distances between two points on a map can be measured using a ruler. Then using the scale of the map, the actual distance can be calculated. So here the example is given. What do you need to do? You are given a map and there are two places. You want to know the actual distance between those two places. So for this, you need to take a scale. Join the two places with a straight line first of all. Measure the length between them on the map with the ruler or a scale. So here in this example, it is coming out 5.5 cm. Identify the scale of the map 1 cm to 3.2 km. Do the calculation for the answer 3.2 km into 5.5 is equal to 17.6 km. The second way to measure distance on the map is measuring distance along curved lines. Distances along curved lines are measured by either the divider method or the twine method. These methods are useful in measuring lengths of rivers, railway lines, curved roads, car tracks, etc. In the divider method, a divider whose pointed ends are 1 or 2 cm apart is used beginning at one end of the feature to be measured. The divider is turned continuously till the other end is reached. The number of turns is counted and then using the scale of the map, the actual distance on the ground is calculated. Yes, students, you know that distances can also be measured most accurately with the help of a piece of string or twine. Measuring distances of curved routes such as those along railway tracks, motorable roads, car tracks, river routes and canals is easily done with a piece of string or twine since it can be shaped to follow the curves and bends in the route. Take the piece of the twine, make a knot at the one end and place the knotted end on the starting point of the distance to be measured. Now move the twine along the object to be measured by slowly placing the twine bit by bit along the route following each bend or curve as closely as possible. When you reach the end of the route, you can measure mark that end with ink. Now place the twine on the scale with the knotted end at zero and see how far the ink marked and 
reaches on the scale measure the length and convert into kilometers if the distance to be measured is longer than the printed scale on the map place the twine on the ruler in the same way calculate the number of centimeters it covers and convert that into kilometers yes students let us recap what we have learned today we have learned about elements of a map that is title north line scale and key then we have talked about the scale of the map the scale is the ratio of distance between two places on a map to the actual distance between the same two places on the ground Ma map scales are given in three different ways verbal or statement scale graphical or linear scale and representative fraction afterwards we have discussed about the measuring distances along a straight line and a curved line the distance between any two points in a straight line on a map is measured by a scale and the distance along a curved line is measured using a divider or a piece of twine so students i hope all of you have understood today's video and enjoyed it and please watch it one or two times for better understanding if any queries are there please please feel free to talk to me thank you so much students good luck